Hello, it's Adia. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the new Glossier bronzer. I haven't really seen a ton of YouTube videos on it. Actually, I don't know if I've seen any YouTube videos with, you know, somebody in my skin tone using the Glossier bronzer. So I thought might as well do it. I am getting ready to go to dinner with my family. So I thought I might as well just film me doing kind of like a simple summery bronzy makeup look. And I have a lot of new products that I want to talk about. So I have the Glossier bronzer. This is not new, but it's new to me. This is the Rare Beauty, um, the Glowy Liquid Blush. This shade is new to me. The Kosas Cloud Set is also new to me. The Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame is also new to me. And then a couple things that are not new to me. But yeah, so it's gonna be kind of like a glowy, bronzy, easy makeup look featuring the Glossier Bronzer. So let's get started. All right, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, that's good. All right, so... What am I going to start with? Okay, something actually that I really like to start with if I don't want to do like heavy coverage or anything like that is I'll use the Victoria Beckham Augustinus Batter like primer serum in the shade Golden. This is a really, really beautiful like glowy base or I don't know exactly what it's marketed as but it's not just your typical liquid luminizer. It's really more of a skin care product, like a serum or moisturizer type of product. And then they just add the tint to it. So you get the skincare benefits and you get the really pretty look. So it's really, really pretty. So I just like to put this on, I need more. But I like to put this on all over as like my base. And I already put sunscreen on, by the way. I don't put it on my nose, but otherwise I put it all over my face. You see that? And it just already gives like, see that? Like much more of that glow. And it kind of just, I think when you have something like this that is, has like a slight tint and luminosity, it really does blur the imperfections on your face just because it's like reflecting the light so you can't really see the blemishes as much at least that's kind of my theory by the way I did my brows already it's the persona swipe up brow gel which I, I think is really nice so okay did my little base all right and then I'm just gonna do concealer just kind of under my eyes and around my nose and I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in the shade 145, 145W. This is a really nice formula. It's just like, oh, I should have used something else. Oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to use this. It's just, it's a really good match for my under eyes. Like, see, look at that. It's just maybe very slightly lighter than my under eyes. So I feel like it just lightly brightens, but it's nothing like crazy, you know, like, especially if you're trying to do like a no makeup or low makeup kind of look, it's important that you don't go too bright with the under eyes or else it just looks like super obvious. And I'm just gonna use my finger because I don't have a brush next to me. Normally, I don't like to use my fingers. I prefer brushes, but this is what we're doing. All right, so here we go. This is the concealer. I think it just looks really natural. It brightens up just enough, but it doesn't make it obvious that I'm not wearing foundation on the rest of my face. I definitely feel like it blends in really nicely. So next I'm gonna go to the liquid bronzer. Okay, so I have the shade Heat. Okay, so it's called 
the Glossier Solar Paint Luminous Bronzer Cream. And I have the shade Heat, which is the third shade out of fourth in four in terms of like intensity. So there's one shade that's deeper than this. This is what it looks like right here. So as you can see, it is just like a rich chocolatey brown. I'm gonna blend it out. So it definitely has a lot of warmth to it. When I blend it out, you can see the more like orangey brown tone. As you guys know, I really do like warm bronzers. So I'm not mad at it. I think it looks really nice on my skin tone, but bronzer as with all makeup is really just like personal preference. Like whatever you like is totally fine. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm kind of probably like apply it like a little bit like above my cheekbone. If here is like my cheekbone, I'm gonna go above it. See, like that. Same thing on this side. Yeah. And then you can use your finger, but I do have this brush. I have the Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes number four brush. It's like a dual fiber angled brush. This is synthetic, so I think it's really good for liquid products. So I'm just gonna blend it and like it blends out like very easily. Like just that right there, I feel like has blended it really nicely. You can still see my skin underneath, so it's not very opaque, but I definitely feel like it adds that look of like warmth from being out in the sun. It's not necessarily like super sculpting, but it definitely adds like sh a little bit of shape and just like overall warmth to the face. So I think it's really natural on my skin tone. So yeah, I'm gonna just take what's on the brush and go right here. Again, to just like mimic what it would look like if I had been in the sun, I would definitely have a little bit of a darker shade like on my forehead, you know? And then I'm just, there's really like nothing here, but I'm just kind of going over just to make sure everything is all blended in. So here it is. I think it looks nice, like very natural. I think very subtle and like flattering to my skin tone. I might do a little bit more. Yeah, that looks really nice. It blends really easily. Like, wow, look at that. I think that looks really pretty. Very, very subtle. Natural, very flattering. So for eyes, I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. Oh man, this is a really pretty color. These Charlotte Tilbury paint pots or, you know, whatever they're called are really nice. This is the Walk of No Shame. So it's like a, um, like a reddish copper kind of shade. Really pretty. So something really exciting has happened to me. Um, I got a new job. <laughs> And I was not looking for a new job, but a recruiter just like contacted me on LinkedIn and just kind of like, you know, as I was talking to the hiring manager and more and more people at the company and doing more like research about the company, it just became like more and more and more appealing to me. And so um, I accepted the offer. So it was like, a surprise to me, it was a surprise to my manager, a surprise to everybody that I work with, but I really just felt like more than anything that was like quantifiable or that I could have put on paper was just like the overall feeling that like pieces were falling into place. And for the past couple of months, I felt like I was 
like swimming against the current, like trying to make certain things happen, whether professionally or personally. And I was like forcing things and things were not fitting. It didn't feel like things were just like working. And so just to have the feeling of like alignment and like ease, not in the sense that it was like easy to get the job because I definitely like prepared for the interviews and, you know, I'm not saying that it was like easy, but it just felt like it was just working out. Like everything was just kind of flowing and the pieces were just like falling into place. And that all, that feeling was like ultimately what guided my decision because I have just felt like things were not falling into place. And um, so it just felt really good to feel like things were falling into place. Something was just kind of happening more organically and not feeling like everything was so forced or like I was working so hard to make something fit that wasn't fitting. So yeah, so I got a new job. So that's really exciting. Um, actually, I, now that I have this, I was using this palette just as a mirror. This is the um, Oma Beauty, the Royal Heritage Coming to America palette. It's really beautiful. This is what it looks like. It's so nice. I actually might just like top. I think I might use the shade Kush and just kind of go in the center just to like, ooh, how pretty is that? Wow, it looks so good on top of this Charlotte Tilbury. So yeah, just to like add a little something. So I'm curious to you guys, like how often do you feel like you are in alignment? Like, does it feel like things fall into place a lot for you? Does it feel like you are going against the grain a lot? Um, yeah, I just really like to know for you, like, how do you balance that? Because I do feel like there's always that struggle of the, if it'll be, it'll be like, you know, let me just let it flow. And like, no, I need to make shit happen. And I think there is a time and place for both. And it's always kind of like checking in and kind of like rechecking with yourself, like, where am I on that spectrum? Because I, I think there's a time and place for both. I definitely think there's times where you should just let things flow, let things play out. But then I also feel like there's times where you should fight for things or push for things or like work for things. And you kind of never know when you've like veered too far or it can be hard to know where you've veered too far on one end or the other. But um, for right now where I'm at in my life, I'm just looking for more flow and ease. And I'm sure I'll come across another season in my life where I'm more in the push and, you know, <laughs> I'm more in the push and like persevere, but like, it's kind of like waves. Like sometimes you're just, I just, right now I'm just like, I just want to ride the wave. I don't want to be paddling. Like, I just want to ride the wave. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Anyways, this eyeshadow is really pretty. Okay. Now I'm going to just do my blush. Maybe I'll powder a little bit. I do want to try this. So I got the Kosas Cloud Set. I don't know if this is the right shade. So I got the shade called Softly. This is what it is. So it's basically my skin tone. I guess I'll just lightly use it for my under eyes. It's not going to highlight my under eyes, of course, because it's the same shade. But at least it will set my concealer. And I'll go like in the center of my face just to like smooth out my pores. I want to get another facial. Okay. I feel like my skin is looking like really kind of like bumpy. I think this Kosas Cloud set is pretty nice. Let me just double check, make sure it looks okay. Yeah, I think it looks nice. All right, so let me do a little bit of blush. I just want to try this one. This is like, it's really bright, but look at that. But I just feel like it would be really pretty just in the summer, just to like really add. I'm gonna to try to go like kind of higher 
to kind of more like lift my face. So I've been trying not to put my blush like as much in the center. So let's see. Ooh, this is like really bright. Oh, oh my God. I'm trying to like wipe off some of it onto the this towel. Okay. Wow, that looked really scary. It's still super bright and pigmented, but we trying. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, it doesn't look bad. Wow, okay. I think that's pretty. I don't have a blush this color. And definitely if you're my skin tone or darker, this will be like just a really great blush. If you're lighter than me, you can still use it. But I would say maybe even just like mix it with like your concealer or something like that just to like dilute it or just don't put on as much as I did. But it's really pretty because if you look close, you can still see like these two like freckles, I guess, that I have. So you can still see my skin through the color. So I feel like with the blush and the bronzer, it really gives that like sun kissed, flushed kind of look, which I think is really nice actually. It just was hella scary in the beginning, but I think it looks good. All right, so now we're gonna do lips. So I'm gonna use my ColourPop BFF3 liner. Okay, and then I'm gonna use another thing that's new to me and that's the House Laboratories Gloss. I've always been curious about this brand and so they were actually on sale on Amazon and so I just bought this lip gloss which is a really pretty like orangey color. See right there? This shade is called, what is it called? Tropicana, is that it? Oh, Tropaglamma, ooh, excuse me, okay. Mm, that's pretty. It's like a very like yellow orange. It's not coral. It's just like a true like orangey shade. Mm, this is nice. It feels nice on the lips. It doesn't really apply a lot this wand, so that's nice too. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just put some mascara on and I will be right back. All right, here we go. Here is the final look. Super simple, glowy, sun-kissed makeup look featuring the Glossier Solar Paint Bronzer. My overall take on the Glossier Bronzer is that it's good. I think if you like the color, you will like the formula. So just kind of, that's up to you and your personal preference. If you like more the cool toned, neutral brown that's not what this is you're not going to find that if you want more of the like you know it is kind of like a more sheer buildable bronzer and so it definitely goes with the whole glossier aesthetic of more minimal makeup so it's not going to be like hella chiseled sculpted kind of look but that's also not the glossier brand so i feel like it's very on brand for glossier not a lot of coverage, easy, fuss-free type of vibe. I think it looks really pretty, especially for a makeup look like this, for just like sun-kissed, glowy, minimal makeup. It definitely does fit the bill. So that's my final thoughts. I'm happy with it. I do like it and it looks nice on its own also. So that's great. I really like this look. This is kind of it, definitely in my comfort zone. I love like, the red and orange tones. I love the warm tones. I think it's just like really flattering on my skin tone. I really love like how my cheek looks. I think that the combination of the Victoria Beckham as kind of like the primer, which had that little bit of luminosity, plus the blush and the bronzer being like slightly luminous makes this look like just glowy skin-like. It's not heavy. The Glossier bronzer actually is a very 
kind of like thin texture so it doesn't feel as heavy as some cream bronzers are that like come in like the pot kind of thing. It feels like, I'm not gonna touch my face, but it, it feels very light on the skin. I don't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup and I don't think I look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup either, which is definitely the goal during the summer. But I really love how this makeup look came together. I hope you guys like it too. My hair is like, I feel like I need to get a trim. It's kind of just doing its own thing. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions about anything I've used. If you have any suggestions or requests for upcoming videos, I'm all ears. Next video, I need to do a, another video in my color series. I haven't done one in a minute, so I need to do a color series video. And um, I don't know what else you guys want to see. So just let me know. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling and I will see you in the next one.